Ryder. Another Corey McCoy production for Trentonian TV. I'm Tyrone Miller. This is the Tyrone Miller Show. I'm here with Eric Johnson. How you doing, bro? What's going on, man? I'm good, man. Now, let me give y'all a little lowdown on this man. This man is a college graduate. What college you graduate from, sir? Morehouse College. Morehouse College. And you also went on the, 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 the service. Tell them what, what branch of the service you in, bro. The U.S. Coast Guard. Awesome. The U.S. Coast Guard. And this man, where did you grow up? Did you grow up in Trent? Uh, I grew up a little bit on the east side, a little bit around the corner from Kingsbury, mm -hmm. a little bit of West State Prospect, uh, a little lower in the belt, 45 buildings. So that's North Trent side. Of the so this man is born and raised in Trent, New Jersey, and he's been went on to be a success. Oh, yeah. wow. I'm trying. Hey, you, you're doing it, man. You're doing it. This is the story we got to tell. Hey, man, this is the story we got to tell. There's a lot of crazy stuff going on in Trent right now, and this is what can happen from good things, working hard, doing the right thing and all that stuff so tell us yo tell us what it's like to go go like as a matter of fact i'm gonna let you tell it where have you gone outside of trenton new jersey outside of trenton new jersey uh, okay i started in 05 uh -huh. 05 had leave so went to atlanta i was in atlanta i was traveling to savannah i was traveling to miami from there, you know, traveled back to home, did a little thing in D.C., a little state in D.C., a little state in uh, VA, North Carolina, South Carolina, party in Boston. Rhode Island. Rhode Island. That man been to Rhode Island. It's five miles around. Bro. It's like a party city. It's five miles around. It might even be less than that, but it's like it's the size of the trip. It's like a party city. I mean, it's, it's a hidden treasure. Bro. I'm so, trying to get back to Rhode Island. It's kind of weak in Rhode Island. And, and you been, so you went to school in Atlanta, then you went all those places during your school visit. Yeah, just doing school visits. But um, military is taking me to Boston. The military is taking me to Connecticut. Puerto Rico, Rico for six weeks. Paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> this man went to Puerto Rico for free for six weeks. Dallas. All right, that's enough. I don't even want no more. I don't even. I lived, you can keep going for days. I did my last three years in Louisiana. Yeah. Southern part of Louisiana. So, <laughs> so out of all the places, like you started off in Trenton, you ain't really go nowhere. Then you you left and went all the places. Now you came back. Yeah. Tell us what it's like to come back to Trenton after you've been. Travel in the country, in the world, really. It's bittersweet. It's, it's bittersweet because it's still home. You know I'm saying? This is, like I, I describe it to my friends. It's the place sometimes I hate to love. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's home. But at the end of the day, it's, I still got to get out. So I stretch your legs. So explain, get into more of the bittersweet. Why bittersweet? Bittersweet because some people don't change. Um, some people don't change. The environment, some of the environment doesn't change. Some of this is still depressing. At the same time, this is what made me who I am. That's right. You grew here. Yeah. Well, for true, you wouldn't be the man you are today. Right, you're right. I wouldn't have left. No, <laughs> but I never got the more house. Man, that was the only college I paid to do a college tour to. But I was like, I got to leave. So, tell us what it's like to be a Morehouse man. It's like to be a Morehouse man. <laughs> I don't know, it's, it's humbling. Because everybody has their high expectations. You don't want to just throw everything. You don't want to always throw it out there. You know, you graduate from such a prestigious college. The world is us. Right. Oh, it's just small. Absolutely. It is great to have that connection. It's awesome to have that connection to you and Lee. Yeah, you elite. People, people, you elite. You went to Morehouse, baby. <laughs> you went to Morehouse. That's, that's like, if, if he was on the Cosby show, what's that, Hillman? That's yeah, like yeah, Hillman, yeah. baby. You went, to, you went to Bill Cosby College, man, big time. Yeah. Um, people who didn't even go there well, I respect the school, so uh, got looked out for. People from alumni from Howard, alumni from Fisk, alumni from Princeton, alumni from Harvard. People looked out for them just because of their name. So, so give so me. So you went there, you did that, now you came back. Now what do you think the, the state of the city is? If you, had to, if you was the mayor of Trenton, which maybe one day he will be. I'm not saying he ain't, I ain't ruling that out. But if you was the mayor of Trenton right now, what would be the, the state of the city address that you would get? 
and you gonna give it to the Trentonian TV audience right now. State of the city. Right. Yeah, it, it, it could be like a three minute address. It ain't gotta be all three minute address. Right. Yeah, three yeah, minutes yeah, to the city. Yeah, you don't want to go state of the union. Yeah, the street. state of the city, Trentonian TV. So that's like two minutes, baby. You know what I mean? Uh, man. So you just pretty much talking to the whole city of Trenton, man. Tell them what, what needs to be done and fixed and changed and all that good stuff. From the outside looking in. Man. Uh, one, the infrastructure the mm -hmm. It's horrible in comparison to a whole lot of other cities. And like, I used to hate Philadelphia and drive and ride around and ride in Philadelphia. But like, so in comparison, it's, it's more working out. You know what I'm saying? Um, right. Infrastructure, one of the things. I don't want to ride up for the potholes. Yeah, I don't want no potholes. <laughs> hey, hey, fix the potholes, man. You ain't messing up people's cars, baby. Education. 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 I'm keen on education. <laughs> <laughs> and I think they just got rid of the money as to uh, presidents on the Board of Education. Tony Sanders. Right. Tony Sanders. It's got rid of the money. It's got rid of the money. You know what I'm saying? Down, down to earth, it's like more marginal. I know personal. So for him, I didn't even know he was in charge of the education until later. Like, he was going around the like, so, you know, um, I couldn't touch on the safety thing, but then I've been some war zones for like the last since I've been out there. It's a lot to say. You, you're touching on safety, it's a lot to say. So, I mean, it's <laughs> like my mom called it, it's Vietnam. Vietnam, all yeah. right, baby. Uh, I don't know, this, this education and culture. Education and culture. So, that's, I just wanted to bring on somebody that could be a light. So anybody that's happened to be watching this show, if you think negative things about Trent, I want you to think of this man. He grew up, went to school here, graduated, went to spell. Morehouse University, sorry. <laughs> he ain't go to spell. Nah, we ain't do that one. Yeah, he ain't doing that. But went to Morehouse University, now he's in the armed services, and he's a beacon of light for people to see and look at and say, man, your kids can make it. All you gotta do is put in a little bit of effort. You got anything to elaborate on that next? Just follow with it, man. As far as personal image and attitude, I think that's one of the things that's taken me far. Personal image and attitude. Don't let the fit it for you. Don't let the forces or it's not the forces, excuse me. Don't let the number ones. They can't, they can't see your shoes, man. Don't let, they can't don't see let the white tees fool you, you know what I'm saying? Don't let it fool you because I still toss in my uniform. I still toss in my shirt and ties, super three piece, wherever you want. At the end of the day, you switch it up. Um, and your attitude, your attitude is everything. Your attitude is crucial. You can be the dumbest man on the face of the earth, but if you got the right attitude, people will carry you. You got to what else is out. Um, attitude will get you out of trouble too. That's right. Uh, <laughs> your attitude will get you in trouble as well. But uh, and don't burn bridges. Family is everything. You never want to burn those bridges. That's right. This is family right here. That is, that's, that's, that is. that's my brother right there. That's right. This you wasn't supposed to tell that. You wasn't supposed to tell that. Man, come on, man. Damn. Oh, man. Let this dude, man. He's, he's, actually, he's actually one of the few people in my life that's, that's impacting me and that keeps me going. Because I feel like I, it's, it's a race. It's not, not a competition where I got to beat him. But it's still it's a competition where I got to be able to sit down at the table and this man and be like, man, I can, I can talk with him. Right. You know I mean? I mean, we can talk back and forth. Hey, we, we have good conversations, man. man. Don't we? <laughs> we have good conversations. Look, and he just beat me in basketball the other day, but that's a whole other story for a whole other day. I'm going to get him for the end of the month. But, hey, e, you got any important words for the people that train? Be safe. <laughs> Be safe. Be safe out there. Be safe. All right. All right. Eric Johnson, Tyrone Miller Show, Trentonian TV, Corey McCoy behind the camera, producer. Corey McCoy, the producer. Give a shout out to Corey. This is his first show producer. Corey baby. McCoy, the producer. Yeah, he's the producer, baby. Family yeah. and friends over everything. All four, three, six, seven. All right. All right. Put in a little bit of effort. You got anything to elaborate on that next? Just follow up with it, man. As far as personal image and attitude, I think that's one of the things that's taken me far. Personal image and attitude. Don't let the fit for you. Don't let the forces, or it's not the forces, excuse me, don't let the number ones. They can't, they can't see your shoes, man. Don't let, they can't don't see let the shoes. white tees fool you, you know what I'm saying? Don't let right. it fool you, because I still toss in my uniform, I still toss in my shirt and ties, super three piece, wherever you want. But at the end of the day, you switch it up. Um, and your attitude, your attitude is everything. Your attitude is crucial. You can be the dumbest man on the face of the earth, but if you got the right attitude, people will carry you and what else is out. Um, attitude will get you out of trouble, too. That's right. Uh, <laughs>
<laughs> to get you in trouble as well. But uh, and don't burn bridges. Family is everything. You never want to burn those bridges. That's right. This is family right here. That is, it, it's, it is. it's my brother right there. That's right. <laughs> you wasn't supposed to tell that. You wasn't supposed to tell that. Man, come on, man. Damn. Oh, man. Let's do it. Man. He's, he's, actually, he's actually one of the few people that my life is, is impacting me and that keeps me going. Because I feel like I, it's, it's a race. It's not, not a competition where I got to beat him. But it's still it's a competition where I got to be able to sit down at the table and this man to be like, man, I can, I can talk with him. Right. Yeah, I mean, we can talk back and forth. Hey, we, have, we have good conversations, man. man. Don't, yeah. <laughs> good conversations. Look, and he just beat me in basketball the other day, but that's a whole other story for a whole other day. I'm going to get him for the end of the month. But, hey, e, you got any important words for the people that train? Be safe. <laughs> Be safe. Be safe out there. Be safe. All right. All right. Eric Johnson, Tyrone Miller Show, Trentonian TV, Corey McCoy behind the camera, producer. Corey McCoy, the producer. Give a shout out to Corey. This is his first show producer. Corey baby. McCoy, the producer. Yeah, he's the producer, baby. Family yeah. and friends over everything. All four things he said. All right, back again. Tyrone yeah. Miller show on TrentonianTV.com. Well, actually, Trentonian.com for Trentonian TV. We got him, counsel at large candidate, Dow Brooks. So, so, man, I'm going to just get straight to it, man. What make you think you should be? In the council at large. Get the people on reason. Get the record down for me. I ran for the Niagara for 20, 22 years. I ran for the United States Senate three times. And I ran for Congress. And I ran for Congress. 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 And, and, and so what I'm trying to do as a council is uh, it's really speak out for the people. Uh, the people need real true leadership, 21st century leadership. Right. And uh, not the older leadership that uh, the old old ways. We need someone that's going to speak for the people. Whether there's issues with the poverty, issues with crime, issues with education, even with the president of the industrial complex, it's destroying the young kids. We need individuals who are not afraid to speak out. And I'm neither a Democrat or a Republican, I'm independent. Right. So we need people with independent mindsets, independent thinkers, not people who are following the same tradition of the city. If you look at the tradition of the city, well, um, more crime right now, we fight like more drugs, more violence. Kids are dropping out 50 to 60 percent drop out right there's inexcusable. I mean, inexcusable. I mean, we cannot allow our younger kids to drop out that way. And we got to develop more programs in these kids. Not just giving kids a basketball, giving kids a football or entertainment. That's what we can give to them. Kids. That's right. And, uh, you know, we have to give this, you know, the city and the kids more than just a football and basketball or having a game or a show. You know, one of the things I had in uh, a non-violence education summit, which uh, teach the kids how to be non-violent. Right. And the kids need that education because when you have so much at violence in the street, violence at home, violence on television, the kids need to see more. They need to understand that violence, you know, they think violence is okay. Right. They need to know, and they need to be taught. So my thing is, how do we change the whole educational system? The focus on talking about non-violent education. And then the other thing is, it's, it's, it's so important that our kids, you know, we're living in a, in a wild society. And, uh, you know, focus also with non-violent education, also with that involved with that character education. You know, no longer is it is acceptable for our kids to bring a gun to school, right. rioting in school, right. uh, even in our communities. Right. You know, we need to bring these kids and sit down and talk to them and listen. Here's a program. These things that you can get, you can just have to go on and on and college. And in the military, well, these are things that they can do. These are things that's that right. they can see. They can touch these things. Right now, a lot of kids feel, well, that's too far. Hmm. That's I don't right. see that. Either I can be a drug dealer or a gang bang or if I can go to jail. That's all these kids see. Or the fact that at graduation rate, they're graduating. There's some that are, a lot of kids that are graduating from the 12th grade, but at the 5th, 4th grade, we have nothing. Yeah, that's not a thing. So, you know, what type of lifestyle are they going to have? What type, right. How are they going to raise their family? Well, yeah. You know, and, and so that's important. You know, there's a lot of things that are important that we need 21st century thinkers. Right. And right now, at City Council, there's no, you know, you know especially at large, there's no 21st century thinkers who bring these ideas to the people. And uh, the people need to champion, the people need to lead. And I've been at the city for 23 years. I'm the first person from Trenton to run for the United States Senate. You know, so I have a lot of experience around the state speaking out on issues. 
and, and you need independent thinkers, independent minds. Also, the libraries. You know, my thing is talking about bringing uh, corporations in to fix the libraries. We have four or five libraries that are closed. They should never be closed. The idea is that, you know, long and we should set welfare for the government. Let's go to businesses and corporations and say, listen, we just sponsor a library. What's wrong with having McDonald's library in Trenton? Right. You know, all or, or corporations, pharmaceutical companies. We have a lot of pharmaceutical companies in, in New Jersey, and you can okay. use these libraries as nonprofits. That's you right. Know, I mean, this wrong with buying a library. This wrong with sponsor. This wrong with a a company who give his hundred thousand dollars, two hundred thousand dollars a nonprofit to have your library. That's right. And you better library. write it off anyway. You can write it off. But if you don't have individuals to think on that level. And that's the problem we have in our city. Individuals, they, you know, they are old school people. We need 21st century people. And, and, and that's the problem we have in our city. How do we motivate our young people, but also motivate the people who are voting to say, listen, we want to change, and how this is how we get that change. And these ideas could work. But if you don't have people on the mindset, they, they, they don't vision it. You know, you know, I watch the show sometimes. You know, I, you know, I like the show. I also have, I have uh, a show called Dignity TV now. And uh, it comes on, matter of fact, tonight. It comes on at uh, Monday for 8, 8.30 to 10 30. So I have people from national and around the state come on. You know, I have you on. Yeah, let's do it. So I think that this is what we need. Individuals that who are creative thinkers, independent thinkers. If you don't have the creative and independent thinkers in your politics, if, if you don't have that, then you're, you're no good serving the city of Trent. That's right. You know, and, and, and if you don't, if, you know, you, it just, this can't be a popularity election. Because popularity gets what you city get right now, what we have right now. People that are popular, but not capable of doing the job. Of leading, that's right. So, I got to give you one touch question, and I'm, you sure, probably already know what it is. What's that? You're, I ain't going to let you. It's, it's I'm about the checkered pass and stuff that done went on before. And I, I want I want to hear it straight from the person's mouth. Okay. I know people, I, 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 I just want you to say it. I want I you think, to give it your own way. Whatever think, you want to say. I, 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 Twenty over twenty years ago, was a term. Individuals had turned it back. As a matter of fact, I was an activist during that time. I had my own radio show, newspaper, and, and a lot of people were paid for that. I was speaking out against drugs. I was speaking out about the current politicians. And I got screwed. A lot of people know about it. And I just did a show and a radio. I was on a radio show and I was on a newspaper show for Tribune last, last year. Where our article was a nine and nine article in Philadelphia Tribune last year. And I think the individuals are starting to see, especially the younger generation, the older generation of people. And this is what I'm saying. If I had to talk to who would speak up when I was young, right. you know, I would be I wouldn't be in the situation I was. Right. You know, and, and the fact was is that we have leaders who are still afraid. They're afraid of the justice system, they're afraid of the police department. And you wonder we got NAACP, we got urban leagues, we got all these organizations. But as a people, we're still suffering. That's right. We can't I mean, who can you call on if something happened? You know, and you have the Democratic Party. And I didn't say the Democratic Party. You have individuals that fear the Democratic Party structure. Their power is predicated on the white Democratic Party structure. And and and, you know, and and once they have your power, they control everything. You even though you want to say something, you can't because you're free. And, and we don't need leaders that are free. And that's what we have in our city, not just with, I'm going to say this, not just with the politicians, the preachers, the uh, fraternity, sorority leaders, you know, right. community, they're afraid. Why are we, we're 2013, and you still afraid? Martin Luther King and Malcolm and all, they, they showed us a direction where we should go in. Martin Luther King and the Civil Rights Movement, uh, they gave us a map. But individuals in the city are afraid to use that map. So why are you leaving people when you're still afraid? Martin and all those civil rights individuals, they were not afraid. But now they fought for you. And the very people you're fighting for, the ones that turning on, are young kids. A lot of these communities, they despise young black kids. They despise them. This is why they have them. There's no reason in New Jersey why 80% 80, 80 of the juveniles locked up are African Americans. 80% of the and adults locked up are African Americans. Okay, why is that? And we don't represent only 12% of this of the state. That's right. And a lot of these juveniles are going to adult prison. A lot of these juveniles are coming from the city of Trenton. 
if you have a situation where the cops or the uh, prosecutors or something, somebody accuses you something, do something to you, who can you call? You know, one of the things I did when I was at, I was speaking out, speaking out about the prosecutors, speaking out about the corrupt politicians, the corrupt police department. We need, in the, but if you're the only one, they're going to they gonna, they, they gonna do everything to take you down. But I mean, you know, because you know, I'm 44 years old. And I've been in all the major newspapers around the state, around the country. I watch with Harry Belafonte, you know, gathering of the elders. You know, I work with with the Tea Party. Now these are white conservatives, Tea Party people, and conservatives too. But they want to question is why are we still in the same situation? Why are we still supporting politicians that have control, have seen the suffer failure? Failure. This is what I'm saying. Failure. We have failure in our city. We're, we're failure in Trenton. We're failure in Camden. We're failure in North. If you look in Detroit right now, it's like a, a third world country. Trenton will eventually be that way if it doesn't. If it, it has to change. That's right. We don't. So that's why you're running for council. That's why I'm running for council. All right. That's what's up. Hey. So this was you. I ain't. You said a lot, brother. I said a lot. You said a lot, man. You was like, usually I'm the one that's doing all the talking, but man, you was doing a lot of talking, brother. That, that means you're passionate. I respect your passion. A lot of people skill that. No, hey, man, I, I like passion, I like man. I mean, I don't like that type of passion. The type of passion you had was good. The other type of passion, I don't want no parts of that. If you try to give me that type of passion, I ain't going for it, man. <laughs> all right. Well, hey, Darren, you got any more words to come? Just vote and support, and I'll, I'll be around. We're going to be doing uh, speaking out around the city, having called speak outs, where people can come in here and the and just talk. And you hear me speak about issues on education, on jobs, all these different things that we need. Right. We need individuals to talk about and speak out. But if you're afraid, this is what you get in our cities. That's right. You're up. Hey, Dal Brooks, thank you for coming on, man. Tyrone Miller Show, Trentonian.com, for Trentonian TV, produced by Corey McCoy, and we will see y'all soon. Yes. Tyrone Miller Show back, and I'm here with Jasmine. How are you, Jasmine? I'm good. Jasmine, we, we want to talk about the state of the city of Trenton right now. This is Tyrone Miller Show, and this section is going to be called The People, because we got people from the city, and they want to talk about the city. What do you feel about what's going on in Trenton right now? The main issue is the, the parents and family. Mm -hmm. Like I feel like with the children, you start at you know, from the age, your parents are your first teachers. Right, that's so right. If you're not, you know, putting in the time and the effort when they're young, then you get older. You know, you're going to have what we have right now. Exactly. So, what are some of the solutions that, that do you have any solutions? You, know, you gotta start at, the, at home first. Like a lot of parents, you know, they expect everybody else to raise their kids. They just want to send them to school, then they don't do it. You know, they want somebody else to babysit. Mm -hmm. They're not really spending the time with them. They're not putting in the extra Then going there and being there and looking at them. They're not, you know, they just think if they go to work and buy them some clothes and them, then that's all they gotta do. That's yeah. right. That's right. That's right. You know, like that. Values and morals and right and wrong. You know, you better feel better, you know? That's right. I think that's the, the first thing. And, and it's just like a cycle. You know, in this community, they, you know, they were raised like that. Their parents didn't come to PTA meetings, they didn't come to PTA conferences. So, we'll they're doing the same thing. And it's just going to keep you guys you know, so, you gotta break that cycle, you know? So, do you mind if I ask you, do you have any kids? I have a son. You have a son? Yeah. Yeah. And you go to his PTA meetings? I go to everything for my son. All right, she so go to everything. She ain't like, putting the money where her mouth at. But he's young. He's only, uh, he's only four. But like, oh, so he, he ain't got no PTA meetings. Yes, he does. He got PTA meetings? Everything. I go to his school. I read to his class. I volunteer. You know, he was in t-ball. He was in basketball. Where did he play t-ball? West End Little League. Nice. I coached there last year. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to West End Little League, Ron Davis. Sorry to cut you off. Go ahead. <laughs> But no, we do everything. This September, he's starting piano yeah, lessons. Like you have to, you know, you have to show your kids more than just what they see. You know, and even he's in preschool, but 
and I say, he do homework. Let me hit that's, him again. That's homework. right. No, but we do homework. That's right. We read that homework. Oh, we also can't just only watch TV and cartoons. We don't know. Yeah. You know, I'm a religious person, so then, yeah, you got to listen to God, too. I'm teaching him to pray. That's right. And, you know, you teach him manners. You know, speak to adults. You know, that's respect. Don't say yeah, but he say yes. Absolutely. So, yeah, I, think I like the way you raise me up there. That's right. See, see, she do, she do put, I like that, man. I like what you're going with this. You see? So, so your son got manners. Yeah. He better have manners when I see him. If he come up to me and just be like, hey, what's up? I'm going to be like, hey, man. Jazz. He might. He might. He might. He's, gonna still, say, he's still from the hood. All right. But, you know, like, I'm from the hood, but I can. So, where you grow up at? I'm from West Street. West Street? What street? Oh, she grew up on Rose. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Rosemont was crazy. They yeah. used to, they used to shout out to the people they used to have after hours on yeah. Rosemont. They used to be off the hook with reggae jazz, right? You know what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I'm yeah. not young back then, but my sisters used to be. Oh, yeah, shout out to your sisters there, because I probably was on their booty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, the parents, not just the mother. These women need to be mindful who they have the babies by. Oh, you know who you're oh. sleeping with. Oh. Oh. You knew he was no good when you had a baby with him. Oh, tell that to the camera. Tell that to the camera. <laughs> Don't tell me she was looking at me in my eyes. But well, it don't matter to me. Go ahead and tell me. Don't care. For real. Because, you know, the, the fathers have to, you know, make sure they stay in the life, especially with these young men. You know, I'm grateful that my son's father is like real good and, you know, and like You gotta be careful with that. Be careful who you bring your kids around. It just starts at home. Hey, well, Jasmine, thank you for coming on another Tyrone Miller show. The people, if you want to come on and talk about whatever's close to your heart, come on and talk about it. Trentonian TV for Trentonian.com. Tyrone Miller, Tyrone Miller Show. Corey McCoy, producer. And we will see y'all. We will see you. Peace.